Okay. Today we are going to enable Hyper-V in our machine. First of all, we have to check our computer is 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 or will fulfill our requirement or not. And the requirement for Hyper-V is that Windows must be 10 and professional enterprises and 64-bit operating system with 64-bit operating system and a 64-bit processor with second level address translation mean slat and 4GB system RAM at minimum BIOS level hardware virtualization support as for we have to go in our BIOS level and check for virtual it is able to virtualization or not able to virtualize our computer or not okay for the requirement check we will go over this PC and right click and then properties in properties we look Windows 10 professional A eh? it have fulfilled one requirement and the next requirement is 4 GB RAM A eh? it is fulfills uh, it fulfill again our requirement and then our system type and 64 bit operating system 64 bit based 64 bit based processor and paint us okay this should as per it has fulfilled our minimum requirement okay now we can we can go over here and turn our on our feature Tron. Tron on Windows feature on or off. Okay. Then after after clicking, we will get this option. Okay, here is not enable, and we will tick over this Hyper V manager. Okay, there is two tick. It should be first of all we have to tick in Hyper V management tools and Hyper V platform. If we click on Hyper V management tools only, and it will not work. Our machine will be not working so okay we have click all dependency of hyper p and we will click okay and some computer require restart now we have to check is hyper v is enable or not and it's working or not okay for v okay it is working and okay we got it and our machine Pradeep is just shown over here and this is physical machine now we can create virtual virtually any op machine over here okay thank you for watching my videos thank you so much please do subscribe